Well, here's Quill again. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Um, I'm going to teach you the map game. So this will teach your dog how to go to a certain place. It comes in really handy. Um, if there's thunderstorms and they're afraid of a thunderstorm, they need something to keep their brain busy, I tell them to go to the mat. I had a dog that loved to watch the baseball game on TV and she would charge the TV. I would put the mat out and she could lay on the mat. It gave her brain something to do. While the baseball game was going on, she could still watch it without charging at my TV. So <clears throat> you met Quill yesterday. Um, she knows what to do on the mat, but I'm gonna show you how to use the clicker, remember the clicker yesterday, and how it works in showing the dog what's right. All right, Quilly. What I would do is I would have my dog, I would entice them, I'd take a cookie. The only thing they do is lay down on the mat. I don't tell them anything, I don't give it a word yet, okay? When she lays down there, she gets a cookie. So she says, huh, that's a good place to hang out. If I lay down there, I get a cookie. Cookies are good. All right, ready? Go ahead, go find it. All right, and she says, oh, look, if I come and oh, if I lie down, I get a cookie. Did you hear me click? I clicked as soon as she lied down. I don't want to give it to her while she's sitting. I only do the lie down because that's the most comfortable and relaxing position for them to be in um, for any length of time. So if you have company coming and your dog jumps all over them, I would put a mat near the door and I would say, go mat, as soon as somebody comes to the door. It's very exciting for them when somebody comes to the door. You'll see she knows exactly what to do. This is Zap. He's 13 and he wants to play too. <laughs> so, oh, let me make sure I have enough cookies. So what I'm doing is I'm doing something called resetting. When I toss a cookie out, it's to get her off of where she is. And so she can think about, hey, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I want to go lay on that mat. Because when I lay there, it's like a gumball machine. I get cookies. See, Zap is like, oh yeah, I want a cookie. I'm sending him to his bed, and I've run out of cookies already. Remember, my cookies are very little. <clears throat> These are actually kind of cute. They're little tiny Christmas trees. I bought them at Christmas time. They don't taste any different. They're just cut like Christmas trees. Okay, Zap, you need to go to your bed. He's old and doesn't always follow directions anymore. He figures. Okay, Quill. Quilly. Then, once she does it really well, I can give it a name. I don't want to give it a name until she understands what to do. Now she understands to come here and lay down. Lie down, Zap. See? Okay. Um, when she understands it and she does it a few times all by herself, I will give it a name. Okay, Good boy, Zap. Come back. Good girl. She will now know that this is Matt. Quilly, go Matt. Good girl. Zap loves the Matt game too. Okay, good girl. All right, so you can play with the Matt with your dog. Remember, make your cookies little. Good girl, I clicked her as soon as she laid down. If I don't have a clicker, do you remember what I could use? I can use my voice, it's not gonna go anywhere, and I can say the word what? Yes, I can say yes. Yes is the same thing as a click. I will use my voice this time. <clears throat> Come on, Coley, go Matt. All the way, all the way. Yes, that's where I wanted her. I didn't want just her front feet on there, I wanted her whole body. All right, that will be something you can play with today. Enjoy this day. Oh, zap. Okay, have a great one.